Good morning, guys. We are here in Sofia, Bulgaria. After a super long day of traveling yesterday, which we've been traveling by bus all throughout the Balkans, and each city we go to, we're collecting a little more and more of kitchen stuff. And so we were transporting our olive oil yesterday, and it leaked all over our stuff when Everywhere. we were traveling in. And then when we got in, we had to wait to check into our Airbnb. And so yesterday, we really didn't do any exploring of Sofia. So today, it's gonna be our first takes, first impressions, and we're just really excited to be here. Yeah, we're gonna be spending a ton of time just kind of doing a walking tour of the city center and seeing all the great sites and the beautiful architecture. Our Airbnb is right in the middle of the city center, which is amazing. I mean, you walk out the front door and there's a street market right there. And it's super funny because this is like the smallest Airbnb I think we've stayed in. It must be 300 square feet. If that. If that. And the bathroom is actually, the sink is also a shower, which is just very ingenious. And I have never seen one of those before. So super funny, but it's perfect because it's close to everything. If you're just now tuning into our channel, we quit our jobs at the end of May 2019 to travel the world full time. So far, we've been to Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Albania, North Macedonia, and now we're here in Bulgaria. Yeah, and we're gonna be spending basically an entire month just traveling throughout Bulgaria and Romania. So please, if you have recommendations on what we should do or see, please comment and send them our way because we are really excited to start exploring these amazing countries. All right, what do you say we go start exploring Sofia? Let's go. That is some of the most beautiful produce I've seen in the Balkans. All right, guys, we are here at St. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. It's one of the largest Eastern Orthodox churches in the entire world. If you've ever seen pictures of Sofia, this has been in it. It's by far one of the most popular tourist spots in the entire city, and it's insanely beautiful. I'm so happy to be here, and this is a great first stop of the day. It's super windy, so sorry if the audio quality is super bad, but we're about to try to go inside. I've heard that they might charge us, so if that's the case, we're gonna walk right back out. I was filming on my phone for all of about two seconds when the guy came up to us. So I guess it's 10 lev if you want to take pictures inside and 30 lev if you want to film. Um, so that's very expensive and we're happy with the pictures and the filming we got of the outside. So I think we'll head to our next stop now.
That cathedral was super beautiful. And now we're heading to Ivan Vaznov National Theater and we're just loving strolling through these beautiful cobblestone streets and seeing all like the Gothic style architecture. Sofia has been such a beautiful city to explore so far. Yeah, just wandering through these cobblestone streets, the buildings are beautiful, they're colorful, they've got great architecture. And I mean, it's completely living up to my expectations of being one of the most beautiful European capitals. So this is a bit of a bummer, but they have some sort of a scaffolding set up in front of the theater so you can't view it from the fountains like you normally can. Um, so we're a little bummed out, but we're gonna see if we can get around it and still check it out. They have a bunch of outdoor seating set up on the ramps back there. They have a big stage with lights and everything and it's right in front of the theater. So kind of bummed out that we didn't get to see it. I don't know if they're waiting for someone important to come out. I don't know what building this is. This must be like their lawmaking building. Do you know what building this is, babe? No, I don't. I can't read Cyrillic. I know like three letters. Yeah, I wish we could tell you what building this was, but it was pretty cool to see those guys doing a little dance. Yeah. They're kind of like the guards at Buckingham Palace, but they have feathers coming out of their hat, so they're cooler. I'm thinking they're maybe some sort of government building. A lot of people in suits going inside. Totally a government building. Super cool. We're walking through Sardika right now, which is like the main train station in Sofia, or sorry, the main metro station in Sofia. If you're taking a metro line through Sofia, your train is gonna come through here at some point. And it's really cool because there's a bunch of ancient ruins just scattered through here. Like, seriously, look at this. Just so many ancient ruins and it's just amazing. Like you could be taking a train and then the next minute you're standing in the middle of ruins. Unbelievable. Another really cool part of this is that there's this beautiful window that looks out onto Largo Square. And I'm standing right underneath it right now and it's almost like being in the Louvre. Not that I've ever been to the Louvre, but I imagine this is what it's like. We've just arrived at the Regional History Museum here in Sofia, which is this beautiful yellow striped building. There are a ton of people here. It looks like a couple tour groups maybe, um, but we don't even have plans to go inside the museum. We actually heard about some mineral fountains that they have behind the museum, and you're allowed to fill up your water bottle for free, and it's supposed to have healing and medicinal properties. It's just supposed to be really good for you. So I figured we'd go take in the nice medicinal water of the Regional History Museum before we head off to find something to eat. I'll spare you guys from reading the sign because it's all in Cyrillic and I can't read it anyways, but I do understand one part and that's the one that says 46 degrees Celsius. And sure enough, I just felt the water and it's hot. I was expecting like some cold spring water, but oh no, this is like some hot spring stuff. So let's see how it is. Yep, sulfur, Blech. hot and sulfury. Not at all refreshing actually, but you know, it's supposed to be good for you with all the minerals. So I'll try a couple more and maybe go back for a little bit. 
Is it wrong to throw it in the refrigerator? I don't know protocol with this stuff. All right, your turn, honey. Tell me how it is. All right. Ooh, it's really hot. Oh <laughs> Sulfury? <laughs> not good. I thought it would taste like health and clean water and minerals, but it just tastes like hot sulfur. Feet. <laughs> Right next to the Regional History Museum is the Banya Bashi Mosque, which is a beautiful mosque that has old bricks that it's kind of made out of. It's got a gorgeous minaret, and I mean, we saw it from far away and we just really wanted to come and check it out for ourselves. Now we're here at Central Market Hall, which is right in the heart of Sofia, and there's a ton of vendors selling fish and bread and food and coffee and really anything you can imagine. Yeah, and so we decided that we wanted to pick up some lunch here because there's all these different stands and Jack's craving one thing, I'm craving the other, so we can get a plate of whatever we want and see how it is. But it's a really cool spot. Alright, so my food of choice was Taiwanese. No, it's not authentic Bulgarian, but it looked really good. And now we are taking the escalator downstairs because there's another restaurant down here that Jack wants to try. So I ordered some sort of chicken and vegetable stew. It looks like it's got an entire chicken leg in it, a bunch of beans, some potatoes, and I see dill floating around in it, and it smells super good, and I can't wait to dig in. Soup first. How is it? Mmm. Good. That was delicious. Uh, first of all, I love dill, so this just really hits the spot. But second of all, it's just super tasty, and this was a solid order. Time to try Taiwanese Bulgarian food. I'm gonna go for a piece of this chicken first. It's a really big piece. I've been eyeing up the spring roll. It looks mm -hmm. so good. Mm hmm. Yep. Good order. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, bit of a fusion of lunch here. And then, just like everywhere else so far in Sofia, there's ruins behind us. We're in Central Market, and there's just old ruins chilling mm -hmm. out right by the food court. So, very cool. Well, I eat Taiwanese food. Sofia is a wonderful city. you can't tell by the majestic lion work, we have now arrived at the Lion's Bridge, which is a really historic bridge here in Sofia. And on either side of the bridge, there are two lions flanking the bridge, so four lions total. And it goes over. We'll show you kind of this, I wouldn't even call it a river. It's more like a stream. Yeah, but it's a short walk from where we had lunch at the Central Market Hall, which I think we can both agree was delicious. Okay guys, now we're heading off to dinner and I am so, so excited. A little backstory on this place. When I get a little homesick, I look up comfort food pictures. So American food, cheeseburgers, chicken wings, all that kind of stuff. And so one day I was looking up best burger places in Europe and I stumbled across a list of 50. And so I sent Gab a list and I had been hounding her for weeks. We gotta get a burger. And so finally, we're here at number 15, I believe, on the list, which is called Boom Burgers. And, and I cannot wait to have a cheeseburger. I'm probably overhyping it, but I don't care. I'm so ready to have a cheeseburger. And so that's where we're heading now.
So what's the verdict, babe? Did it live up to your expectations? It was everything that I dreamed it would be. <laughs> such a good burger, such good fries, really, really cool atmosphere. I can't recommend that place enough. The total for the burger and the fries came out to 16 lev, which is about $9 US. So a pretty good deal for a very filling dinner. Yeah, not bad. And they had some really good like 90s American rap going on in there. So we were listening to like Tupac and Jimmy yeah. Bowie and it was great. Oh, it was great. It was so nice to have some comfort food and to have some tastes of home again. But since we were good and we split a burger instead of eating a whole one each, I still have some room for some dessert. What about you? All right, we picked up a cup of strawberry gelato and I'm gonna see if it's any good. So far we've had Nutella and kiwi, so I'm curious to see how this compares. Yum. Yum. I like it just as much as the kiwi. Mm. Mm. Pretty good, right? Oh yeah, that is lovely. You're lovely. Why, thank you. Well, today has been a super cool day exploring around Sofia. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate all the love and support that we've been getting. And we'll see you guys next time. Hmm. Hi. <laughs>back actually because we just realized that this is the third video in a row that we've ended with eating gelato. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even mad about it. I hope you guys aren't mad about it. It's so good. It's so good. It's so cheap. It's everywhere. So whatever. <laughs>